Welcome to battle number five. Is it five? No, it's battle number six of week one. This battle is featuring Lion Hugs versus Fingered Witch. Lion Hugs being Whooper Blooper, Fingered Witch being Butcher Blissies. As a reminder, we have the Mega Pokemon Mega Heracross on uh, Whooper Blooper and Mega Altaria on Butcher Blissies. We won't be seeing Heracross today. We will possibly be seeing Altaria uh, if it can Mega Evolve. And then for Z Crystal Pokemon, we have Dragonite, who could use any Z move, and Chandelure, who could use attacking Z moves on Whooper Blooper. We have a chance to see both. And then on Butcher Blissies, we have Blissey, who could use any, and Arcanine, who could use attack moves. We also might see both as well. So unpredictable with the Z Crystals here in this match. It'll be an interesting thing to see. With me today is Emberhoof from... Uh, the Draft League as well, representing Rio Grande Rapidash, so thank you for commentating with me today. And we'll start with initial thoughts, so if you want to go ahead and say what you're thinking seeing these Pokemon here. Alright, so right out the gate, I'm seeing some really strong and fierce teams. I'm thinking Jirachi, probably going to be the MVP on Asnoir's side. Jirachi is kind of a jack-of-all-trades, it can... It can pretty much be anything you want it to be. And over on Lion Hugs, I really don't know who I think the MVP is going to be. Because Sylveon's naturally bulky. Dragonite, with I'm thinking Dragonite's going to be packing the Z Crystal, and then there's always the contrary superior. And fighting a contrary superior, I know those are not fun to face. <laughs> so I, th I think contrary superior could put in a lot of work against uh, Blissey, uh, whatever. I was packing there and also the tentacle for sure and then for anything else we got Dragonite who could do some interesting work yeah I, go give, I don't want to put in any biases or anything but I think I'm going to be in the lion hugs corner for this match going off what but, you but, said uh, there seems to be a lot of bulky Pokemon in, in this battle on both sides Mm, Quagsire, Metagross, Sylveon, Arcanine can be bulky. Yeah. Mega Altaria definitely can be bulky. Blissey, Jirachi, Tentacruel. I mean, there's there's a lot of bulk going on here. It brings up the question, will we be seeing another hour-long bulk match this week? <laughs> I, I'm not against that, but I, I, it brings up the question. I think it might be more tanky bulk rather than stall, but we'll see. Anything's possible. Um, I, I'm I'm really looking forward to see how they play around each other's defensive cores. I think Quagsire might be one who's really hard to take down on the Lion Hug side because I don't see any Pokemon that would obviously have a Grass move. Tentacruel has the ability to have Giga Drain, so maybe we'll see that. But otherwise, uh, Quagsire is going to be really hard to take down. And then on the Butcher Blissey's side, I think Mega Altaria once. Once it mega evolves, that's going to be the Pokemon that's really hard to take down. So I think I, th I think Metagross would probably be the Mon of choice to take down Mega Altaria, given its Steel typing and its natural resistance to Fairy moves. Yeah, it does and have to be careful moves. of Earthquake. Yeah, Earth Earthquake's gonna. I, th I think Earthquake is gonna be on one of these Pokemon, most likely Arcanine if Arcanine gets it. Arcanine doesn't, but Altaria. Mega Altaria does, yeah. Yeah, Alt Altaria at this point would have to be packing it, especially if uh, especially if Chandelure isn't rocking Air Balloon or Levitate. Yeah, I agree. So I think we have a good match coming. It'll it'll be interesting. So without any further ado, would, would you like to start? Any final thoughts, or should we jump into it? I think we should uh, jump into it. Let's see some bloodshed. All right. This is also uh, Lion Hug's first battle in the the server in general for the draft league, so I'm sure there's a lot of excitement there. Oh, and we have the two Steel Psychic Pokemon both coming out, Jiringo and General Grievous facing Jirachi. each other. 
Jirachi pulling out with an air balloon. That's a very interesting choice. It will give it some good ground immunity, but... Don't know why he would be doing that. He's immediately going to swap out into Ars Arcanum. 10 out of 10 nickname right there. I Arcanine coming reference. out. I, I get the general Grievous reference, not the Ars Arcanum reference. Um, it's a play on the name Arcanine, but it's also a special move in the video game Kingdom Hearts. Ah, okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense because Joey is a big fan of Kingdom Hearts. All right, and Sapphire the Quagsire comes out. Able to take that. Flare Blitz like it's nothing. That is just delicious breakfast for Sapphire. Quagsire being very, very hard to take down when it's defensively d invested especially. Another close combat's not really going to do anything. Earthquake, however, dealing some pretty massive damage there. Uh, that's stab and with the defense drop. That's gonna, that's gonna knock. That's gonna, that's just outright kind of, ooh! Two earthquakes. And Tentacruel is KO'd by the Earthquake. First Pokemon to go down. Mm, if, uh, if Asnoir can't get rid of those rocks, Arcanine's pretty much dead the next time he comes in. Yeah, th this is definitely what I was predicting. Quagsire being the Pokemon to beat. And Lilith the Blissey comes out. Now we're gonna... No. Blissey, Blissey's an interesting Pokemon. I think Blissey might be uh, packing Toxic, maybe. Maybe trying to run a Toxic stall set. Ooh, the opposite of stall. Blizzard comes out. Earthquake doesn't do that much damage to Blissey. And the Blizzard will take down Sapphire the Quagsire. Interesting offensive Blissey here. Uh, he's got him. He's got to be packing some kind of heal. It would be crazy to not bring Stop Boiled or Recover or something. Yeah, I think we could probably we could probably expect a Soft Boiled or a Wish. Uh, we'll we'll see. Metagross comes out to try to take down Blissey on the defensive side. Blissey being known for its special defense and not defense. And Meteor Mash just going to take out Blissey. Just bringing in Arcanum just to uh, fodder it off. Oof. Stealth Rock really, really hurting Arcanine because of that fire typing. I think and an Altaria might be packing Defog. Megalos. I could see, I could see Defog possibly being on Altaria or Earthquake, which would be good for this matchup versus Metagross. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking it would probably be Roost, Defog, Earthquake, and then maybe a Dragon move, just for some quick stab. We we could also see a normal move being powered up by Pixelate into a Fairy move. And out comes the Sylveon to take a an Earthquake, dealing only about 25% of HP, so that is probably a defensively invested Sylveon there. And the, the wish pretty much confirms it at that point. He's setting up a wish, probably gonna. Why Ooh, would... flash cannon Ooh. dealing nice damage. I'm gonna see a hidden power fire, I believe, is what it is. It was super effective on Jirachi. Yeah, it would have to be hidden power fire, probably, because if it was ground, air balloon actually would have invalidated the move. Yeah, hidden power fire and wish. He's going to swap out to Metagross to eat the Flash Cannon. Yeah, some really bulky Pokemon on Wooper Blooper being able to take a lot of these hits pretty, pretty easily. I'm going to see an Ancient Power. That's going to do nothing, but he does get the buffs. Oh, the... that's re that's really good. I wonder if there's a way to follow up off of that. I don't think there's any moves that hit Metagross. Yeah, if there was move a, a move that hit Metagross, like maybe Fire Punch on Jirachi, that could have been pretty 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 unpredictable with those with those boosts there. We are going to see the Imposter Ditto. Let's see if it's Choice Scarf. This choice scarf would guarantee the outspeed. 
<laughs> meet the Metagross. <laughs> meet the Metagross. <laughs> right, and Dragonite comes out to take that Earthquake. Nice prediction there. He's gonna swap back out to Altaria Mega, probably to oh 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 Lion the Dragon Dance. Dancing. He's just dancing now. I think Lion Hugs is getting a little cocky, thinking he's got it, so he's gonna start dancing. The super Supersonic Sky Strike hits Altaria. And out comes Ditto. However, Ditto does get the boost from Dragon Dance. So if it's Scarfed, it will outspeed. Seeing as how he swapped out after that first Earthquake, I think that means it is Scarfed. However, would... one thing to take into consideration is multi-scale. Ooh, and double extreme speed. Yeah. I was gonna say something like, "Yeah, we should. Uh, he should have pr predicted a possible switch over to uh, Sylveon, and that's probably why he went for Extreme Speed." But it looks like two quick Extreme Speed exchanges is going to end it and give the win to Lion Hugs. Good, good battle there. Yeah, five zero for Lion Hugs. The bulk showcasing really hard uh, to take down Pokemon. Yeah, you got tanks. Tanks boss. <laughs> yeah, the Pokemon being very defensively and offensively capable on, on uh, the side of Lion Hugs. Uh, Butcher Blissey is bringing some interesting and good moves to the table. The Blissey having Blizzard was really interesting. I, and that could have been a surprise move actually versus Bli uh, sorry, Dragonite and Superior. Hmm. So that that was actually pretty interesting. I, I'm wondering if Blissey was ru running uh, Serene Grace instead of Natural Cure to try to get that freeze. I, I, I would I would assume so. But overall, an uh, interesting first match for Lion Hugs and uh, Butcher Blissey is also being able to show some of those interesting, unique sets. I think they both put some time into thinking what they wanted to do with their teams, and so it was a pretty good battle. I'm, I'm looking forward to see what they have moving forward. Yeah, so am I. All right, and that was match six of week one. Tune in next time for match seven of week one, which will actually be featuring you, Emberhof, uh, versus Quest. And yeah, I, I think you're ready for this. I saw some of your some of your planning and I think you'll bring it so I'm excited to see what you got coming to the table for us next week hopefully hopefully it's a really interesting match I'm hoping uh, Quest is prepared and I'm ready to have a good match against him yeah it definitely will be I, I think for sure so all right well that was that was me and Emberhoof commenting this match and tune in next time and I'll see you guys later later <laughs>